there, this is Alana from Alana Lee Photography and in this video I'm going to show you how we can do some simple backdrop changes using the Avoto software plugin. So here we are in Avoto and I have an example image um, just pulled off of unsplash.com and in this example we are going to add a digital background in here. Uh, I'm going to be choosing some digital backgrounds available from the Imaginator Studio and they come from the Ultimate Fine Art Editing Collection. So heading back to our image here that we've pulled in, once you're in a photo, you'll find some different editing um, tool guides over on your right hand side, the basic editor, the portrait editor, and we're going to use this section here for the background adjustments. And within this module, there are a variety of things that you can do. You can, if you have distractions in your background, you can toggle this button and it will remove them. It'll also clean up your backdrops. Uh, you can use the next one here for uh, adjusting if you have any color banding effects that are happening. Uh, but the one we're interested in here is called this backdrop changer. And within it, you can either use some of the recommended preloaded backgrounds that are included with Evoto, or you can upload your own backdrops, which is what we're going to do here. So you go into your My Backdrop section, you simply click this plus icon, and it's going to open up your browser from your computer, and you're going to navigate to where you store your digital background. I'm going to choose a background from the floral collection and it contains over um, about a hundred different floral inspired digital backgrounds as well as some uh, overlays and textures that will help enhance some floral fine art style images and scrolling through i'm actually drawn to this one here which is floral number 29 so I'm just going to double click on that and it's going to add it here into our uh, backdrop changer module and to select it we'll just double click on that and it's going to pop it in behind our subject. So you can see within just the click of a button it's made a, an, uh, a mask around our subject and applied our digital background behind her. If you don't like uh, where the mask has been created around your subject, you can go in and actually modify uh, the mask itself. Uh, but this has done a pretty great job. Uh, the fill mode will adjust where and how it centers that background. You can do a center alignment or you can stretch it, which I don't really like to do because it distorts the digital background. Uh, so we're most often going to use center fill. You can also play with the size of your background itself and you can adjust it vertically or horizontally here. So I just kind of move it around until I get a composition that I like and that looks pretty good there. And the next thing I'm going to do with this image is I feel like the backdrop is a little bit too strong and competing with our subject. So I'm just going to drag the opacity slider down to create a nice subtle effect and I like it just about there and there you have it. Uh, so that's our first example. Our next example here we'll just click on is this portrait uh, that I just pulled off of pexels.com and again we're going to be using a background from the fine art collection from the Imaginator Studio. So let's go ahead and we'll click the add button here from my back and to add it to our backdrops collection and we're going to navigate up and I think in this one I'm going to choose something from the classic studio backdrop collection and this is uh, 60 different digital backgrounds that have that classic studio backdrop look in a variety of colors and uh, I think for this one we could try a few different colors in here but let's go ahead and uh, maybe choose one of these nice uh, teal colors which might complement the color of her dress it'll kind of be a, a nice uh, contrast to that so we brought it in and then we're just going to double click on that and it's going to make the selection around our subject and drop that in behind her 
and that's a, a nice effect maybe we want to try something a little bit darker so let's go back in we'll add maybe let's see what we have here let's add this one it's a darker teal color double click that and you'll notice you get this warning here and it's an alert saying that you can't add a backdrop in that's greater than 10 megabytes in size so we'd have to go in and resize that option it's not going to work for us um i've gone ahead and pre-done that over here and so i'll just show you what that looks like when it's added in and there you go pretty easy just with a couple of clicks of a button you can uh, go ahead and make changes to your digital backdrop the final example here we'll just use this image from pexels i pulled of a dancer and this one you can see that it includes the floor here i find the backdrop editor works best when you have images like the first two that we chose that doesn't include a floor in it but one thing we can do with the uh, with this type of image is change the entire background color, which is a neat trick you can do. Um, so I'll just show you how to do that. Let's just drop here into the backdrop changer. We'll go into the recommended or the preloaded uh, backdrops that Avoto includes. And if you go in, it includes a whole variety of different colors, different textures, anything uh, that you can imagine and so I'm thinking she's got a brown outfit in here so I wonder what it would look like with one of these brown color tones added so you just go ahead find the one you want double click it and it's going to add that over top now you find that this is obviously a little bit strong we've lost our shadows and whatnot in here so we're just going to zip back to our background changer and lower our opacity of that color tone and something about there and you can see that floor line is showing as well as her shadow and so that gives a bit more of a realistic effect when you pull the opacity down so that's just a few examples of how you can quickly swap out your backgrounds using the avoto software and we used digital backgrounds from the ultimate fine art collection from the imaginator studio